I'm Martha Theus. I'm here with my girl, Julia Duffy. Hey, Julia. Hey, guys. Hey. So I'm a CPA with over 30 years experience helping entrepreneurs just like you turn your passion to profit. So in a previous episode, what we talked about is there's always a price for freedom, right? Mm -hmm. So freedom absolutely is priceless, but there's certain things you have to do, certain things you have to change in order to get free. So in our last episode, we kind of wrangled time because that's low hanging fruit. How much time are you spending throughout the day and how is this time allocated to get you closer to freedom? So we issued a challenge. We asked everybody to do a time audit just for a week to see how you're spending your time. Did you and do I your homework, people? <laughs> <laughs> and if you did, let us know what the results are. Definitely yes. post it in the comments. Um, so I did that for myself. I shared that story and actually... Yeah. I found that I spent a lot of time watching TV and doing, you know, non-value added activities that I was able to wrangle and start to redirect into building my business, which made a monumental difference. Mm. And a part of this is not just working on the business, but we schedule time. Like I scheduled some of that low hanging fruit that wasn't value added mm -hmm. to actually building my business so I could create a life of freedom and live in what I call my zone of genius. Now, this is from a book by Gay Hendricks, which mm. is called The Big Leap. The whole concept of The Big Leap is how do you go from your zone of excellence to your zone of genius? Your zone of excellence, let's say for my, my example, CPA over 30 years, my zone of excellence is doing accounting work and helping my clients with their accounting work. But I want a life of more freedom, more prosperity, more joy. I have something inside of me that wants to share this with the world. OK, mm -hmm. so that means acquiring skills to go from my zone of excellence to my zone of genius. That's the big leap. OK, just like the name of the book, that is a big leap. So all that time that I freed up from my time audit to mm -hmm. devote to my business, it's not just a matter of just putting the hours in. OK, we actually want to share a concept with you guys. There's a concept of how do you build your expertise? That's also the price of freedom as well. Right. Because you can't just keep doing the same things over and over and expecting different results. So I have a story to share. I have a really um, good friend and client of mine who's a public speaker. And she lost her business, her public speaking business. I was very excited because she definitely has a talent. Yeah. And I watched her speaking events. They're online. I watched them for about six or seven months. Mm -hmm. And I realized that there was no difference from the first episode to the last episode. Oh. Like, She's showing up, she's doing yeah. the work, she's being consistent, but there's no growth, okay? So there's certain things she needed to do in order to grow and get into her zone of genius. Right, to like level up to the- you know, Exactly. Back, like extra, extra special speaker. Exactly, because when you're building your business, when you're an entrepreneur, yeah. people will, will pay you for your expertise and your genius, okay? That's really mm. what you want to get to, is get yourself to that genius level so that it warrants somebody paying you for your work and you can charge what you're worth. Right. So that was a good learning exercise for me because then I had to look at myself. It's like, okay, mm -hmm. how do I go from my one-on-one -on -one working with clients to my zone of genius where I can work with thousands, if not millions? There's some things I had to learn to do. Yeah. So one thing was actually learn how to create videos and learn how to edit videos, okay? So creating videos and speaking, my husband coached me through that, which was a yeah. huge gift because yeah. I really didn't know how to how to get to that next level when it right. came to communicating. And would and you then, have ever thought that you were gonna be like your own movie director? No. You know what I mean? Like when you're going exactly. to like, I think I'm going to go and direct my own films and use exactly. all that crazy software. So well done. Which was actually fun, you know? Yeah. And that kind of goes back to the time audit as well. When I looked at how much time I had that I needed to redirect, yeah. I kept the stuff that was fun. I kept the stuff that actually fed me and gave me right. my juice. But there's certain things that weren't fun for me and I would never be good at. And Julia, this yeah. is why you and I are working together. Graphic yeah. design is one of those things. I was never going to be in a genius zone with that. And yeah. honestly, I don't really enjoy it. So, <laughs> so it good, gave, then I get to do all the fun stuff and do all the, exactly. uh, the, uh, the arts and fun. The fun stuff for you. Yeah, fun stuff for me. <laughs> Which is kind of a powerful point because when you look at how you're spending your time yeah. and you look at what you need to do to invest in your genius, there's mm -hmm. going to be some things you absolutely don't need to spend time on. Right. But that's going to be in somebody else's zone of genius. And it's an awesome way to collaborate so everybody can wow. be at their best and save time yeah. and actually 
everybody can kind of go together on their, their path of freedom. Right. You actually, I just to quick interject, but you actually helped me when you delegated not only the, um, the graphic design, but when we first met up, oh, yeah. um, I needed help in trying to, I was doing bookkeeping. And so mm -hmm. I needed more assistance and you needed to offload um, and kind of free up some of your time. And so mm -hmm. I started working on one of your clients and it was this really great balance of me being able to learn and gain expertise. Mm -hmm. Well, you also were working on your zone of genius. So I felt like that was a win-win and I'm like grateful because I needed to hone in on those bookkeeping skills, which I was able to do under your guidance. So thank you. And you doing that yeah. freed me up tremendously because the time that I was spending helping a client with bookkeeping, which is yeah. honestly, that was 25 Not, years ago for me. I don't right. need to be doing that. Right. right. That time I was actually um, able to redirect into creating our courses, mm -hmm. creating content, actually coaching people who want to go from passion to profit, which is what our entire business is about. Right. But I honestly, and, until I spent the time to do that time on it and see how much time I was actually mm -hmm. working on bookkeeping with a specific client, it wouldn't have been clear to me. I just knew at the end of the day, I was drained right. and I had nothing to put into my business and into my path of freedom. Mm -hmm. So what we want to talk about in this episode is, okay, you've done the work, you freed up some time. Right. Now, what do you need to do to go from your zone of excellence to your zone of genius? How are you going to use that time? Right. And you can't just keep doing the same thing over and over. There's a quote that says, let me see, make sure I get it right. The signature of mediocrity is chronic inconsistency by mm -hmm. Jim Collins. So you actually want to consistently uh, invest in yourself, invest in your skill set to go from yeah. excellence to genius, sort of like sharpening the saw. Yes, I was just going to say like, oh, this is Stephen Covey exactly. sharpening the saw. I love him. He's so, A, one way to sharpen the saw is to read that book by him. I seven always have it on the seven habits of highly effective managers, mm -hmm. but just for life skills in general. But like for myself, when I'm sharpening the saw, it's setting time aside to read books. I'm either like dedicating myself to reading books, reaching out and doing like amazing podcasts. I learned mm -hmm. so much information on podcasts. And then of course, like linking up with mentors. So there's so many different ways and even just doing research, but it's like designating that time frame on my calendar to focus on my expertise, I think has been just a huge, huge shift in my, like after doing the time audit of like, making that one change to like exactly. really impact where the, where the trajectory is going. Cause they say like, it's just, it's the little things that you do every day mm -hmm. that really make the big impact and the big difference. And so that's, it's like, put the blinders on and stay focused. Exactly. We'll put another book in the show notes as well yeah. called Atomic Habits. Exactly that. Mm. Those little things you do every day add right. up to big differences. So our challenge for you for this week is mm -hmm. you freed up some time from your time audit last week. Then you need to do kind of take an inventory of your skills. What do you need to do to truly launch and get your very best out there in the world? Right. Then look at that time that you were able to wrangle from your time audit and start putting that into your sharpening the saw, your um, 10,000 hour rule. Yeah. That's from Malcolm um, Gladwell, Outliers. We'll put that mm -hmm. in the show notes as well. But 10,000 hours, he says, of yeah. focus, like dedicated work to, to grow, basically, yeah. will turn you into an expert. And I like to say into a genius. Yes. And one of the, I, I forgot where, I think it's just from normal, like 360 reviews. A lot of times people have mm -hmm. like the stop, start and continue. And I right. think that, that is also good to use for your time of like, okay, what areas were like overdone? So it's like, what are exactly. you stopping? What, you, what should you start? What should you continue to do? So it's like, there's so many different tools that you could use to help to create that plan of like, okay, where are you putting your, now that you know, now that you have your clarity and you know your baseline, what's your direction forward? Exactly. And that's what we, we wish for you because yeah. um, there's, there's all these roadblocks kind yeah. of to truly being free, as we said, mm -hmm. now that we've addressed the time issue, Time is so valuable. How are you going to reallocate it? So that's our challenge for you this week mm -hmm. is reallocating your time into an area where you can go from excellence to genius. And then in our next episode, what we're going to discuss 
is one that's really close to my heart because this is where my profession is, yeah. is how people are using um, another resource, which is their money, Ooh. their cash. What are you doing with your cash and how are your, your money habits actually creating more roadblocks for you yes. in order to get free? And we have I, a lot of great examples and stories on that. I think this is going to be a must watch episode. Stay tuned for the financial one. It's going to be huge. Yes. As always, leave your comments below. We want to know how, what is, what are you doing for your expertise? Are there any other tips or tricks that you want to share with other people? Um, we always love to hear anything, any advice. Let's help each other sharpen the saw and help each other on the path to freedom. Thank you. And in the meantime, make sure you check out our website, marthathecpa.com. Yeah. We have courses on there that will help you on your path from passion to profit. OK, as quick as a three day quick state, uh, quick start course to a master course, passion or profit, and also a QuickBooks quick start course. So yeah. check out our website. Make sure that you invest. And in. these are the tools that you're going to need, yeah. just the tools that you need, not a business school, but the tools that you need in right. order to launch your business and turn your passion to profit. So thanks again for joining us and we will see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe below. And for those of you that are wanting to turn your passion to profit as soon as possible, be sure to check out our website and register for the $59 three-day passion and profit quick start. See you next time.